welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's a new year, it's 2017, and this is kind of just to show you what I did and what I cooked on the first day of the new year. I thought I'd start off with some tradition and I made a soup. I have my black eyed peas, I have my chicken stock, I have my collard greens, and I have some meat there. It's a really simple and easy dish. I hope you all enjoy this, even if you didn't make it for the New Year's. It's something just to make to carry you along through the weeks while we are still in these cold months of winter. It was so tasty and so yummy, y'all. Let's get started. The first thing I wanted to do was to chop up my kielbasa, and you just wanna make nice size pieces. If you wanted to chop them smaller, please feel free to do so. You don't have to make them as big, or just feel free to do whatever it is you want to when it comes to chopping this. This meal was just for me, so, you know, I kinda did it to my liking. I then added some olive oil to a pot, and you wanna let that get nice and warm. And once that gets warm, make sure you rotate your pot so that once you put your meat in, it can all get coated with the olive oil. The next thing you're going to do is you are going to add your meat to your dish. You also want to go ahead and add your vegetables as well. You have your celery, you have your onions, and you have your carrots. I picked this item up from my local Harris Teeter, which is really good if you don't wanna to have to buy everything separately. It comes together, which of course, this type of item is good for brews and stews and things of that nature. Give those a good mix, let them cook down for about seven to eight minutes. Once they are fully cooked down, you wanna go ahead and add your spices. Right here, I'm just adding about a teaspoon of garlic, a heaping teaspoon of garlic. You also wanna add in your oregano. And then I also put some 21 Seasoning Salute from Trader Joe's, as well as some pink Himalayan sea salt and crushed black pepper. Give that a good stir. Make sure it's nice and tender. Make sure they are cooked really well. It doesn't take long, so make sure you keep your eye on the pot when doing so. Next, I've added in my diced tomatoes. And then I'm also gonna add in my chicken broth. Now you'll see me pouring in one box of chicken broth here, but I ended up using two because I really wanted a good base for the soup. I didn't want too much meat as opposed to too much broth, so I kinda used two to even it out. Plus it cooks down, and when you add the collard greens and the beans, you'll see exactly what I mean. Next, we are just giving that a good stir. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn that up to high, bring it to a boil. Once it gets to a boil, then we wanna start adding our collard greens. Look how beautiful those greens are. We're gonna get all our collard greens in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and turn our heat down to a simmer. And we're let, gonna let that simmer for about 15 to, let's say 17 minutes. Just depends on when your greens are nice and cooked down. Wow, look at that, so beautiful and smells so good. Oh, I love cooking in the aroma in the kitchen, just really makes my day. Give that a good stir. And now for the last portion, we are going to add in our canned black eyed peas. You totally have the option of using fresh black eyed peas. It's up to you. This was a quick meal that I made, so I wanted to use canned black eyed peas. Give those a good stir, and you're gonna let those simmer in the pot for about five to seven minutes. Once those finish simmering in the pot with everything else, add more spices, taste test, see what you need, and then you're all done. This is a quick and easy soup. It's probably gonna last me a couple days. Like I said, it's just me, so I'm gonna eat on this for a couple days during the week. Okay, fems, it's time for me to enjoy my soup. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, 
comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the Fem Focus. Thanks, guys. Happy New Year. I'll see you in the next video.